X's and O's with Leroy Butler. He's brought to you by Pottawatomie Hotel and Casino. Hello, everyone, and welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. And we are going to um, look at a couple of plays. Three, I have a bonus play today. Three yes. plays. Uh, this is going to be an offensive play. We'll st start on offense with the 49ers. This was against Carolina where they blew out the Panthers. And mm -hmm. one of the reasons I like this play was that there's a lot of misdirection, lot of as we misdirection. talked about in yes. five questions, but also yes. the stress it puts on the middle linebackers, yes. which is going to be a factor against the Packers. They're going to stress no because, you know, they have Blake Martinez, and we never know who this is going to be. Sometimes right. it's Ibrahim Campbell, sometimes yeah. it's B.J. Goodson, sometimes it's Oren Burks, but it's really a nice stressor uh, for that position. So the way this thing starts, I'll start it out and then you can yeah. um, kind of let us know what happens here, is we get some motion going this way. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so what happens with when motion? When that happens, everybody takes a step over. And that's all you want to, and the reason they do this, Tom, is to create blocking angles. Right. Okay? The blocking angles. So remember I was telling you in five questions, whenever a guy moved, it puts stress on defense. Because mm -hmm. right now I can go, the strength is to the right, mm -hmm. okay? If it's balanced in the middle of the field, the strength is always left if it's balanced. It's strength because there's three here. Right. So you got. And there's one here. And there you go. So now when he comes over, okay, I got to tell everybody strength is right. Now. For some reason, if it's in the middle again, if this guy goes back, mm -hmm. we know in our film study, we got to go back to strong and weak again. Yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of thinking process. Okay, on. so go ahead. So what we see, uh, I'll st get it started. Yep. So what we see is this guy comes back. Yeah, he's coming back, and, and you're now thinking, all of a sudden, what's whoop, going on Got to come back, got to <laughs> come back, got to come back. Yep. Um, and... And they also have another guy coming, too. Right, right. And you're thinking, wait a minute, now, what is going on here? And they're going to always unblock somebody. So they'll let the guy who they want to trap, they'll right. go, he'll come up, and he'll think, hey, I'm unblocked. But it's almost like a ride and decide. It is. If you're up, you'll give it. So he'll, he'll come out here. Yeah. And then it's, to add even more to the play, intrigue, it's, the, it's a trap play, like you yep, said. They're, absolutely. They're going to curl the guard, they're going to fake the handoff, right? Yep. And now what happens with these two guys coming out here? Because they also have a play to where they'll give it to this guy, he'll pitch it to the other guy. Yeah. So it is a lot going on here because they also run a screen off of this as well in your film study. But what you want to do is create these, the frustration, and you'll see it in the video once we show it, Luke Keekley is frustrated because he's trying to pick a gap and next thing you know, when they're coming back with the motion, yeah. he's too slow. And next thing you know, 60 is the key to it. Because yep. he has to get blocked on 54. If he gets that block, and you're going to show that, that creates the lane. Right. And that puts a lot of stress on everybody on this side because they reacted. And once they come back, these guys can't get back across because 85 and 60 had great blocks. And I think it causes hesitation as to, all right, who's got who who's got the ball? I yes. don't know. <laughs> Who, who's got the ball? All right, yep. I'm gonna keep an eye on the quarterback. You know, could, is it this guy? Well, Eric Reed, the safety here, has to honor that. Yep. So does the corner here, you know? I mean Absolutely. if it's him. But then it breaks here, and that's perfect because then 85 can wall off him. Yep. You know, and everything. 60 wall off 54, and now yeah, you got Yeah, and you got all these blocks. And they don't even block Keekley. Nope. And it's still successful. So let's take yeah, a look at that. Yeah, two guys that don't block the end and Keekley, and yeah, it still works. Yeah, and it works. So, so go on to the, the video. video. And we'll there's your bunch to the left. Yep, and now they're going to switch. Or, you know, he's going to make his motion. Yep, here he comes. Now, as soon as he All gets right, set, gets set. Now, okay, there's, there, there's the yellow lines of the, the linebackers taking a step over. Right. Okay, then he's going to get set. As soon as he gets set, now 17's taking off. Now you think, oh, right. that's a jet sweep. And you just say to yourself, that's the misdirection that they want, and it created all of the angles. Right, and right. And it's just amazing. And this happens fast. Yeah, yeah, it does. you got two fast guys in there. Now, you see the red shadows in the yellow, and you see 54's in the yellow. 
he has a great angle for 60 to come block him right. because as you showed previously, the arrows are everybody stepping to the right. But look at everybody with their eyes on those three guys. Who's going to get it? Because he could pitch to 31 here. He could fake to 19 and pitch yep. to the running back. Yeah, he could and it do could that. be an outside run yep. too. So everybody's got to kind of stutter and, and make sure they know what they're seeing. Yeah. Okay, and then it's going to go from this point on. And there's the inside handoff. And there, as you see, 60 blocking 54. And you see Kittle block. blocking Eric Reed. Right. And that creates the lane that you want. Yep. And, and again, and this is first and 10 in the red zone. And most of the time, the first play in red zone defense, we're thinking pass. Yeah. But I, this is a really amazing play. And here you go with the rest. Yep. And there's Keekly chasing. Yeah, he was unblocked. Yeah. And you'll see it at a different angle as well. Every time a guy moves, Tom, it's difficult to reset. Yeah. So, so when he comes going. back, you'll see the arrows, everybody stepping properly on offense, on defense. Everybody's trying to recover. 60 makes a great block because he, he double teams 94, and then he's going to come off and block 54. So yep. that's a key part of this whole thing. 75 pulling is important, too, because he's going to lead 19 right into the hole. Here yep. he's. You can kind of see 60 getting ready. Everybody's got their eyes on, you know, somebody, but <laughs> everybody's got their eyes on somebody except for the guy who has the ball. And in, a, in a perfect world, you would like Eric Reed to stay inside of that block instead of outside. Yeah. He basically created it's almost like a self block. But look by at that outside. lane. And it's only, it's up to Keekley. He's got to make that play, but he can't. And again, run they'll run they'll run the same play again, but they'll flip flop it. Yeah. They'll start the, the, the trips on the other side and the motion will go back and they'll do a, a kind of a a screen pass to Coleman off of it as well. So Yeah, and next week don't be design. surprised if they throw the pitch to that. Yes. Way, you know. Right. So we'll see. Yep. Um okay. And we're gonna show a little bit more misdirection just because they're so good at it, it's, it's worth looking. Confusing. So we just wanted to throw this one in quickly wow. as a bonus because it's just another example of what they do with motion yeah. and how confusing it can be. So I think I'll, it's the first time we had a bunch of linemen in purple. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. So here's our formation, and that's once again it's first and ten. Yeah, they got um, balance formation with running back on this side, and let's start it out with the motion. Um, yep. He's going to come out this way and then get set, right? Yep, he come over and get set. Now, when he gets set, they give the defense a chance to, if they want to change strength, they can. They can. Mm -hmm. But I think they're now they're giving you the illusion of the jet sweep if he ever comes back. Yeah. So when he's when he comes on this side, you think, okay, he's set, and then, rep, I mean, immediately before the ball is snapped. He's coming back. Mm -hmm. So Garoppolo takes the ball now with his ball handling, and he'll fake it to the running back, and yep. this guy just keeps going. Yeah, he fakes it to the running back. Yep. Now all of a sudden, so everybody's going this way, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And what happens is, you know, 84 takes him and takes him, and then yep. you can show what happens and then with the, the rest the, of the line. And then the, uh, the, the uh, wide receiver, he just runs a deep over route. Yep. And he's basically just clearing out. Right. He's right. just clearing out. And he takes people with him, though. Everybody just starts to move this way. Right. And you're thinking, okay, is this a misdirection play? Oh, he didn't give it. So maybe they're trying to go deep here. Yeah, and this but, guy's got to get all the way back over again and, after running to right, that side. And, and man, fight through all the trash. But right. the good thing about it, the linemen are the ones, the heroes in this. Yeah. If they don't sell this, somebody's going to sniff it out. Right. And actually, 54 sees it, mm -hmm. but it's too late because he's already, by, like you said, that, that moving. He's going to come up field to chase, but then, yep. and 69's going to block he him. he got the best angle on it. He sees it. Yep. He's about the only guy who's and this it. is a, And this is obviously a screen. So these guys just setting like his pass, but once you just let these guys go, just let them go, Garoppolo comes back here to set up, and now you hit 13 over here. He's over here. And these guys now, Tom, these guys are down the field now. 
It's like a caravan. I mean, you can see them down the field. And a good thing about it, I watched earlier, that the right tackle, he kind of peels back on any leakage because sometimes you can get a guy that snips it out and can go sack the quarterback. Yeah, and even McGlinchey, yeah. he, uh, or, or I think it's Staley, no, McGlinchey, he, he blocks and then he comes out yep. too to add to that caravan. Yep. So let's take a look at yep. what we That's have amazing here play. on the video. There he goes in motion. He's thinking, strength. okay, now they change strength. Arizona yep. changed strength. Now Here they got to go back again. Bam. And look at all the yellow aerial arrows and look at the red. The red is misdirection going opposite directions. Mm -hmm. The yellow is going in the same direction. Right. So that means you're going to be less men on the right side. And that's what the defense are right. And that's what the offense wants. Yep. Garoppolo with a good fake as to whether it's an end or So run. now he has to move outside the hash mark to really sell this like he's going to throw it deep, like a dash play. Remember yeah. the old dash play? And I have those three, um, you know, sight lines because they're all looking at the quarterback. Yeah. And, oh, you know, where is he going to go with this now? And there's 54 at the bottom, and you see 67 has a great angle on him because, yep. like you said, he just, peeled back on him. Just like you, yeah. So now he'll get ready to release to throw the ball, now there's your convoy there. I mean, jeez. And if you can ever get a guy out in space with his three linemen, again, the linemen sell it. Yep. And this is a Watch screen that you want. Room he's got as he runs. And there you go. And now you're just off. And at this point of defense, you try to survive the down to try to get him on the ground and line up again. Yep. They, they eventually do that after 40 yards. So we're going to see these plays like that. That'll yes. be uh, Packers defense going to have to deal I, with Again, them. out of motion. Yeah. If they come out and just line up, Packers will probably dominate them. Yeah, but that's but not if they're moving happen. around like this, you got to just read your keys, believe what you see, and just be disciplined so plays like this won't hurt you. Okay. And lastly, we're going to take a look at the 49ers defense. All right, so we just wanted to show one uh, play on defense, and that is uh, a blitz that they used against Seattle that was really mm. effective. They got Seattle mm. to get confused a little yes. bit up yeah. front, and I'm yep. sure they'll use it against Mike Pettin, uh, or I'm sorry, against uh, Matt LaFleur, LaFleur. Yeah. Uh, try to keep the Packers' offensive line off balance, kind of just centered it around the middle here. But how it starts is you get this guy, Seattle uses motion, and you get this guy over here, and it brings number 20 here. Yep. And then 57 reads that and comes over here. And now all of a sudden you've sort of got uh, the threat of a five-man rush. And... What we saw was this guy pick up his head and make a yeah, call. Yeah, he, he made a call. And um, I think by him making that call, either they went from zone to man. I think that's... But and the problem is who was going to get 57 when 57 walked all the way out here. Right. But then at the end, and we're going to show this on the video, 57 comes back here. Yep. But they've already made the call. Yes. This is what we call an unselfish pick. This, you want to pick it for your brother to get the yeah, sack. Yeah. But sometimes by you throwing the pick, the first guy, sometimes you can penetrate and get it, but it's designed for the second guy to come around right. and get the pressure right in the quarterback's face. And they want to try to uh, flush Russell Wilson outside. But ultimately, they want to create a one-on-one -on -one for their best pass rusher, and that was both. Yes, yes. So they achieved that. Right. So what we get is uh, – looking for rather than take on the linebacker here he's worried about the middle guy right and he is going to loop around correct? He's going, yep he's going to loop okay, around let you finish and so up. 54 all he wants to do is just come in and get ready right on that shoulder right Okay, everybody else got a guy to block. Just get in on that shoulder, and then now the more and more, just keep pressing. And the back, Carson, he comes across and try to check to uh, block to uh, help out with uh, 99. Yeah. But the problem is he bypasses 54, and 54 just keeps pressing up the field. And, again, you get your one-on-one -on -one with Bolsa, yeah. now that pocket starts to collapse. The sack was 
supposed to be for him, yes. and it winds up being for him. Right, and that's what you're doing your job. Sometimes you can be the hero. Yeah. Instead of 54, could have said, you know what? I can see a free lane. I'm just going to go. He'll get walled off, and they'll block both guys. Right. But no, he didn't do that. He went out, and you'll see on the video, he stayed on the shoulder. When the bike bypassed, he went to the next level and was able to get the sack. Yep, so let's take a it's quick amazing. look at it. And there you see, so 57 is sort of the start. And then he, as the video gets started, he's going to move over to the right. So that's what caused, there you see 70 making that call we were talking about. Right. So you've got the man-to-man -man there. And then you got 57 causing some sort of concern, yep. I think. After, after they made the call, he's going to come back. Yeah. And so you're thinking, okay, well, it's too late to make another call. Now you're thinking, oh, okay. It seemed like to me that the right guard uh, messed this one up yeah. on a man because he should be going out to get 54. If he does that, that's fine. 54 will still go to get across his face now and try to get so 99 can loop around. All 91 has to do is just occupy the center. It would be okay if, so if 91 Armstead, which who's you know, a really good inside rusher. Yeah. If the idea is to double team him, that's great. The back can come and get 54, but what screws it up is that the 49ers have run that stunt. Yes. Too. And so yes. that, it could be that the call was correct, but the, the 49ers were just a step ahead of this with the right. stunt. So we can watch it as it goes forward. See, so you see 54, he's coming in, does a good job by the arrow. He's not just going to run to Russell Wilson. Yeah. No, he's going to stay on the shoulder right. of the guard to clear it for his brother to come around and get this sack. But if they bypass him, which Carson, the back, does, you see the yellow line? Mm -hmm. He's just going to bypass him. And he's going to run right in that, like a little crease in there, and that creates the pressure. And here we see the rest of it. See how he went there? The, the back bypassed him. Yep. Look to the right. You got Bosa one-on-one. -on -one. So you want your best guy one on one, but all all you're getting the pressure though. Yeah. In the face it's of a, a quarterback. Yeah, he's yeah. looking at 99 and he's going, "Oop, 54 is not picked up." And you see Bolsa and you see 55. You want to keep Russell Wilson in the pocket because you're going to bring the pressure up the middle. Yeah. It has to all work together. That's a pretty exotic blitz. Now, the Packers also Packer fans run something similar to this was that Darius Smith yeah. will go inside. Yeah. But you just need guys, these three guys, to occupy, you know, these three guys yeah. so another guy can loop around. Right, right. But these guys are up the field, get their one on ones, and it's just a beautiful blitz. We used to run these pick plays like this, and it was always designed for the second guy to get it. But yeah. I remember Fritz Sherman used to always say, when you throw the pick, move to the next level. You yeah. can get a free sack because sure. you're not in the blocking scheme. It's yeah. amazing. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, hopefully uh, you enjoyed our bi-week bi look at the yeah, uh, future did. opponent. And <laughs> next week we'll have a little more breakdown of yeah. the game. And thank you to Potawatomi Casino and Hotel and Casino for sponsoring this segment. I really appreciate it. All right. And we will see you next week. Bye.